Sudangfa, Mamuni Khan War. 1397-1407 A.D. Taeo Kamti was assassinated in 1389 A.D. There was no king from 1389 to 1397 A.D. Some years later, a man named Thao Chiokan went to trade in cattle to Haibong, D. Meiji. There he found a boy named Sudang. He inquired about him and came to know that he was the son of Thao Kamti's second queen. The raft in which she was set adrift had floated to this Haibong village. She died after giving birth to a boy. A Brahmin man brought him up along with his children. The Burhagohan was informed of these facts. He brought the prince back to capital. At that time, this prince was 15 years of age. He was known as Brahmin Prince or Bamuni Kanwar. He built a town at Dhola. Later, he made his capital at Chargaya near Daihing River. His reign saw Brahmin Ikal influence in society. The man who brought up the prince was installed as confidential advisor of king. Under his influence, many Hindu rites became part of culture. The Tipham chiefs were dissatisfied with the new regime. This came to his ears. He did not take immediate action and dealt with the matter with extreme care. He caused a stockade for catching elephants invited the conspirators. Great feast was arranged to mark the occasion. Suddenly the conspirators were taken to custody and put to death. He suppressed dissent remarkably. He endeavored to conciliate the rest of Tipamias by marrying the daughter of one of their chiefs named Kumtai. The girl was in love with Tai Sola, a Tipamia. This man sent a ring through king's servant to queen. This was informed to king. The king called for an explanation for this. Tai Sola fled to Surumpha, king of Mungkong. Surumpha sent his Bargohan with an army to attack Sudangfa. Sudangfa faced the invaders in person near Kahirabari near Tipham country. The invaders defeated. A treaty was signed between the kings in 1401 AD. The meeting took place on the side of Nongniang Lake, Lake of No Return. Patkai was fixed as boundary between these countries. Tai Sola was deprived of political asylum from Surumpha. Tai Sola moved to King of Kamada. As the King of Kamada refused to give up Tai Sola, Sudangfa sent an army under Bargohin. The Kamada king averted the war by giving his daughter to Sudangfa with a hefty dowry. The rest of the king's reign was devoted to completing subjugation of Tipham, Kamjang, and Aethon tribes. <laughs>